Happy holidays, folks, and welcome back to my, uh, my channel. Our channel. Our I'm, channel. I'm Lynn, and that's the old man, Rob. You got that in quick, didn't you? Right, people, we're just packing up to go away. Yes, we weren't going. But we are Yes, we sat down here this morning and thought, we might as well. It's going to be a nice weekend, apparently. It's going to be dry for the change. Yes, that's the main thing. Because I've got bloody wet feet, I have. You have got rather wet this week, haven't you? <sighs> bloody drowned it. Anyway, before we go away, we've got to pop down because uh, some friends of ours, the travelling dipsticks, are stopping on this side. So we've got to pop down and I've got to put their van back together because the dipstick has backed into a car, apparently, or a quarter car or whatever. Yeah. So I'm going to go and fix it for them because they need a man who can. Why do you know someone who's coming with us? <laughs> so we'll go down there now and see what damage he's done. Unbelievable. So this is their beautiful van. I think the driver's got a problem, hasn't I think it? he has. We've been in a car with him before, so yeah, we know he has. Yeah, there he is, look up there. Hello. This is his beautiful edge. And this is what he has done. Man, the ground is so boggy. So he's clipped the car there, look. So I'm gonna put some of this Sikaflex 522 in there to stop it getting worse. Rob to the rescue. You all that. You are looking pretty today. Shut up, Robert. But the only trouble is... You, don't you dare get any on that top. Oh, hang on, I need to get some uh, kitchen roll or something. So I've got some kitchen roll off him, because I don't want it all over my hands. The Where trouble is with this, I've blocked the top up, so... Oh, so wasting another... What? Well, last time you did that, you wasted half the tube. Yeah, but I know a little bit, see. And I've got... Just rub it in the crack there, look. I'll give him a bit more because I'm not tight. How much are you charging him? Well, I'm going to send the bill in. Make sure you get it right in there. Okay, and then get the, get the uh, excess off as quick as you can. Does it dry quick? I'm going to spit on my finger. This stuff is absolutely brilliant. Where is this? Brilliant. Brilliant. <laughs> there you go, look at that. I'm quite proud of myself. There you go. I've saved him now. A couple of grand. What are you missing with? Oh, I thought that was a split there, but it's not. It's where the silicon. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Yeah, all that. I'll just put a bit more on. So I'll get cracking, repairing his van, people, and then I'll get back to you. There's our resident swan, being fed, and his mates. And there's Lynn, Don't holding the sicker flex. Isn't bit hasn't been fed, and I'm starving. Maxine, Hi. Chris, and his old bird mum. Hiya! Oh, <laughs> 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 Looks great with your hair, yeah. yeah. Look better, Max. The travelling dipsticks, I mean, yeah, yeah. wibblies. Live. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice to see, isn't it? Yeah, I've got rain on. So we've left them, um, and we just before we did, we noticed that that poor swan had got a piece of fishing line and a hook. Well, stuff. we don't know if there's a hook there, but there's definitely fishing line coming from uh, under his right wing. Under his wing, so. So we're going to go report it. Yeah, and. Uh, they might have to get in touch with the RSPs, PB, RSPB. Well, somebody's got to sort him out, haven't they? Or yeah, her. poor thing, because it's. Uh, I think we think it's the male, because the female's on the nest. But we, like I said before, we've got three swans here. So yeah, we'll. Uh, I'll go and pop in the office and uh, have a word with them and let them yeah. know. Yeah, but uh, at least I'll fix his van anyway. Yeah, you're useful for something, aren't you? I didn't charge you. Bye. See you later. Well, we are actually back in the bus. We're not going to get there till quarter to two, so that's not too bad, is it? But we're not going very far. We are going to Arrowbank Country Holiday Park, Lempster in Herefordshire. Somewhere totally different. I, like I said earlier, we weren't going away. Then we woke up this morning, so what are we going to do all weekend? We might as well go away. The weather's dry for a change, as we said. So yeah, 
that's where we're going. We don't say quiet on being people. And we are being... Absolutely knackered. Yeah, he's had a hard week. Very, very hard week. And yeah, I think we'll be in bed by about 7 o'clock tonight. Oh yeah? Oh no, sleeping. <laughs> Both shattered. Um, yeah, we're actually on a fully service pitch. For some reason? Well, I thought you deserved it because you've had such a hard week. I mean, he's been wading through eight inches of water doing his job this week, haven't you? I electrocuted you twice. All my hair stood up on him. You haven't got any hair to stand up. Unless it was on your arms. So, yeah, I'll uh, pick you up when we get there, if I'm not asleep. Because I've been getting up at half past four every morning to do him sandwiches. So I'm shattered too. Happy holidays, folks. It's great to be back on the road. It's great to be back in the bus. And I'm all excited. Bless him. So we've just got into Arrowbank. What a beautiful, beautiful place this is. And I don't know where I'm going. I'm going to turn right back there. Absolutely no idea. This, wow. Keep left. Okay, she's redirecting us. Look at this for a place. Absolutely. Beautiful. Stunning. But, I'm going to pull over and let this car But go. we're lost. Again, we've gone past. Didn't even see a turning, did you? No, I think you better get up on your phone. Oh, well. What a stunning place, sir. And the dogs are off. Yeah, because I think we've stopped. We haven't. There's an old AA box there, look. You see it? Yeah. Well, we will have a walk round here, won't we? Because you're taking me out for lunch tomorrow. Well, we drove past it. So we had to turn round. Luckily, Typical. the village was very, very quiet. Our sat now thinks we're off road. But yeah, know. apparently it's up here. And if it's not, but to be honest, it's a beautiful little it's place. It's a stunning, stunning Well, we don't know about the site yet, but... No, I'm on about the area. Yeah, it is. It's up here. And that's the road it wanted us to come down, which... Maybe we could have done. Oh, it's yeah, where I said turn left up there, where that lorry was. Yeah, but this is a, this is this a better, is a better way. way. So, deliveries that way, we're going on to the left, aren't we? It Never. It does look very posh, Arrowbank Country Holiday Park. £70 for two nights, folks. Yeah, that's with the dogs, though. Well, yeah. So, you know, it's not a cheap weekend break, but, you know, it's a one-off for us. Yeah. It's not a one-off, but, you know, we like to do a site every now and again, just to keep our hands in. Our hands in. And we're right on the River Arrow. OK, I'll rephrase that. We like to do a few sites to keep up with the Joneses. <laughs> How lovely. It does look a very, very, very nice size, but we will take you round once we are set up, or maybe tomorrow. Absolutely shattered today. We'll have an early night tonight, my love. Oh, here we go. Oh yeah, here's your touring pictures. And there's a few here. Am I in? Yes, I'm liking it. Yes, and I am. It's very well kept. Very well kept. And we are on a fully service pitch. And we are on a fully service pitch. Which I'm very happy about. Which I'm, I'm very happy I about. I thought you were because you haven't got to walk anywhere for water. Yes, eh? I might have to wash the van. Oh, you can't wash the van here. Well, what a reception there, look. Yeah, there's your reception area. And they also sell statics. But yeah, there's the reception. So, so I'll just pull up, I'll pop into reception, see what's going on, and maybe. I'm going to buy, maybe I might buy me a little angel, a little meal, a bag of chips between us. No, you're taking me out for a meal tomorrow. What? Yeah, because I haven't bought enough food. Did that well, didn't I? What a beautiful sight, folks. We've just parked up, as you can see. Uh, dead flat uh, pitch. With electric behind us and water. Perfect, absolutely perfect, and it is so quiet. So I'll have to tell Lynn to keep the noise down later. Lynn? Yeah. I need to keep the noise down later, because it's a very quiet site, oh, oh, very oh, respectable site. Is it what you're doing here then? <laughs> oh, we have got a Wi-Fi, thank goodness, because I can't pick any, I've got no internet here at all. Yeah, we need to get onto the pub and book a table. Which pub? Because she... The, there's a, the stag. The and the stag. Oh, no, there's no stag. Yeah, there is. No, there isn't. 
Yeah, there is, folks. I'll sort it, don't worry. Yeah, I'll say these uh, seasonal pitches, maybe. Beautiful. Well, folks, we're all... <laughs> this is take three, by the way. Yes. Uh, we're all set up, as, you, as you've seen. We, we're going to show you uh, a walk around the site shortly. I'm going to take my little angel out for breakfast. What's going on here? I got, got this out of the wardrobe and it, it was clean and there's a dirty mark. So I tried to sponge it out and he wouldn't wait until putting the camera on for me to dry out. Yes, the reason it's take 26 is because you keep saying good morning. And most of you are probably watching it on an evening. I think we do that a lot though, don't we? Good yeah. morning, but it, it is to us, but it's not to you. Yeah, anyway. To, to be honest, we do uh, cock up a lot when we're vlogging. <laughs> we do. We haven't got a clue what we're doing off though. No. So yeah, as I said, we are at Arrowbank Country Holiday Park. And we Sit on the river, Arrow. <laughs> You've written that on your hand. Um, yeah, it's it's a beautiful place and the weather was lovely yesterday. It's a bit drab today, but who cares? It's yeah, dry. but it's, uh, apparently it's going to be 15 degrees today. Yesterday it was 19 degrees. First time we sat outside the van on our chairs. And it was great. And he didn't bring my chairs, did he? No, yeah, well, I'm not bringing those until the weather's really, really nice. Well, that, that means they're never going to come out. You're putting them in the van next week. Well, oh, shut up. You are. They'll put them in the motorhome. I was just reading through uh, all the bumps that they give you. Lots of little snippets of information. We met a couple last night, people. Well, yesterday when we got here. Mark and Lorna. Mark and who? Mark and Lorna. Yeah. You'll forget that again in another five minutes. And they, uh, and, Mark and, Lorna. and they invited us around uh, for a drink, around to the motel, which is just parked over there, Bolero. And uh, Beautiful van. Man, they give me some dodgy gin. I've been up all night with a dodgy stomach. They must have found you up the loft or something, you know, it's one of them. I think they brought it just in case they ever bumped into you. Yeah. And apparently we're uh, going out for a meal with him tonight. That's if they're still talking to him. <laughs> yeah, links it on my bowsy, my mate. It's so embarrassing. I was cringing at some of the things he comes out with. You're going to have a laugh, folks. But hey-ho, for all of you that have met him, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah, so, no comments from you, Gary. A few things on this, a few reminders. And they did make me sort of, yeah. Um... The last... It, the time on. today, love. I've got oh, work on Monday. I've got, to, I've got to find one. Oh, dear. If all owners put flags up, the park would look like the United Nations. So best leave them in the boot. Thanks. Uh, don't forget He's your... He's got a point, though, isn't he? He has. Don't forget you're on holiday. Put the washing down and enjoy yourselves. Best keep the rotary line at home and stick to little errors. I've never seen things like this before. No, well, I think it's brilliant the way it's out. Uh, yeah. There's a large recreational grass field on the other side of the, he the hedge before Jennifer's Pool. So we'll have a look at what that is. Uh, no ball games outside the recreational spaces, please, which is fantastic for yes, us. Yes, that's one of our pet hates, football. Football. Children and footballs round expensive caravans and motorhomes. Yes, that's a no-no from us. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's about it. Oh, no, there was another one, wasn't there? Please do not use awning heaters. Never seen that one before, but yeah, I suppose. Wonder why that is. Well, it's oh, it, electric. Uh, really. Maybe because it does say about tripping, um, plugging plugging in multiple appliances simultaneously may result in either your own power tripping or the site fuse box tripping. No, but it hasn't because it's got to be sixteen amp on here because I've used the hot plate to for, to boil the, the kettle. kettle. Yeah, I've had the heating on. And I've had my lithium battery on charge, so it's got to be 16 amp. Yes, but if you're plugging multiple, multiple big, like if we charge the eco flows up as well, then you might have tripped it. I'll try it after. <laughs> that does no, it really is a nice, smart, clean park up site. Yeah, so we'll have a walk round on our way to breakfast. But firstly, we'll have a kiss. No, we won't. I've just done my makeup. It's took me three hours, isn't it? See, you've made an effort. <laughs> right, no, come good. on. Let's go for breakfast. Oh, you can't whack me. In. The summer's coming, people. Is you this... can't whack it. It felt like it yesterday. Yeah. You know, it was lovely yesterday to get here, 
and open all the van up, you yeah. know, all the skylights, let the sun in, some fresh air in. Welcome the summer. Are you going to show them what you've actually bought? What have I bought? That thing on there. Oh, yeah. I bought a damp meter. I don't know why, but he did. I bought it to uh, see if there's any damp in uh, Gary's tent. <laughs> no, I bought it because I was looking on Amazon, it just popped up. It was only tenner, so I bought it. And what I've done, I've checked all this van out with it, and it's dry. So, what are you going to do with it now? Well, I'm going to keep checking the van out. You know, for the sake of a tenner. I'm off Amazon. Perfect, off Amazon, yeah. Yeah, he didn't realise that every time he orders something, it comes to my email address, what he's ordered. And I'm like, I was doing my hair in the bedroom the other day, and he's like, well, what have you ordered now? All these things start popping up for our new, for the new mod as well. You keep buying stuff, don't you? Well, he said I waste one of crappy clothes and crappy shoes. Crappy, girly, crappy stuff. And plants. Plants, man, I'll start it. it. looks like a jungle. I'm sure I saw Tarzan in there the other day. Did you? Oh, it's gonna take me back quick. <laughs> Stop! Well, let's crack on then, eh? Let's go for breakfast. Give us a kiss, sir. No. Okay. So we're out and about, people. Finally got her out. There she is, look up there. All in pink. Uh, yeah, great facility block there. I'm not gonna film inside because, you know, you've all seen toilets and showers, but it is very clean. You can take it from me. You've got a cracking reception area here. And we met the manager yesterday, and he's a very nice bloke. What's the matter, Lou? I, I, a bit of a criticism for me, I don't know, but I just think the facility block is far away. He's like with the statics rather than... It's only there. I know, but it just, to me, I mean, you've got all this space here. I'd have put the facility block there. Yeah, fussy old kid. It's just, yeah, maybe. Yeah, crack inside. You can obviously purchase statics here. You got your bins and recycling there, mixed recycling. So basically, you chuck it all and they sort it out wherever it goes. And then you've got a cracking Elson point there, and you've also got a dog wash. Let's have a look in here, actually. Dog washing area. Let's have a look. There you go. That's good. Especially. Uh, all the mud and the rain and everything we've had. Take your dogs out for a walk. Chuck them in there, give them a good wash. I'll chuck Come you on, in after. I was just going to say. Yeah, very nice sight. Now I've just bought my little angel out for breakfast. I haven't told uh, him the price yet though. Rita's tea room. And I've got to, I've got to film this place because it's beautiful. It's 400 years old. I'll just mm. flip the camera around. Nearly as old as Robert. Only nearly. It's war. It's war better than you then. Yeah, I'm going to show you anyway. Look at the ceiling. And the lady actually lives here, who owns the business. There you go. Welcome to Rita's. Cracking wood burner. Welcoming and very, very warm. I, uh, I've never ever heard of this village. It's called Erd, Erd Island. I'm not sure how you pronounce it. Yeah, there you go. Erd Island Parish 2000. Just a map of it. Though. Yeah. Absolutely stunning place. We um, like it here that much. We're thinking about stopping an extra night. Yes, we are. So it's got to be good. Yeah. We don't usually stop places over two days. Do we? No. You're looking really pretty. What's the matter? That funny couple that we met last night has just walked past. Oh god, shall I pull the blinds down? <laughs> oh funny. That was absolutely beautiful. Yes, if you're ever in Erd Island, is that how you pronounce it? It just sounds strange, isn't it? Erd Island. Erd Island. In near Leminster. Lemster. Leminster. Lemster. Leminster. Lemster. You're pronouncing it wrong. It's not, it's Lemster. That's that bloke behind you, so I'm going to... Nobody there. Okay. Yes, pop into Rita's Cafe. Yeah. Highly recommend the food. Quality. Breakfast. Quality it... home bread sausage. 
Rare no. breed. Rare breed. Rare breed pork sausage. Beautiful. Only because I told him, because I read it off for it. <laughs> we do wing it, don't we? We do. We must show you around this place. It's beautiful. I've never been it's to... It's idyllic. You've been saying idyllic. I've just... Oh, I it's thought it was idyllic. It's idyllic. Anyway, it's absolutely... Honestly. I think one of the prettiest places we have ever, ever, yeah. ever been to. But we're going to leave that one until Thursday. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we'll carry on with this one for now. Yeah. But Beautiful wow, place. What a place. Pretty, just like you. Pretty in pink. On about the tree, not me. Get off, you bloody idiot. <laughs> wow. So obviously that's a sight. <laughs> you love stating the obvious. And then you can just go through this little pass gate here into the village. And River Arrow. Yes. What a, I can't I'll keep banging on, but what a beautiful place. Yes, people, please, 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 if you get the chance, come back here. Yeah. We are here. going to go to reception now and pay for another night on a fully serviced pitch with electric. Yeah, because tomorrow we want to explore the place properly and uh, vlog it. We do, because it's so worth it. Mm. And I have never heard of the place before. No. Uh, and the pitches, just you know, something silly like the pitches. Dead like, level. Yeah, dead level. Spacious. You've got a tap right behind you, which is fantastic. I know these small things like having a tap behind you makes a hell of a difference. I think, anyway, on a You've side. Access to your grey waste. Access to your grey waste, yes. Great Welcome. place. And it's so quiet. Well, it was until she got in. Changing the subject because we're totally. a bit ran we're a bit random, aren't we? You are. Very. These caravans, the Adria, Adora. Isonzo. Yeah. Very popular on this site. Well there's three of yeah. those it's exact three, vans. Yeah. Three of them, so they must be good vans. I've never seen one before, have you? Yes, here we tow, Karina, actually. Here we tow, never heard of them. Karina actually did a review on them. Did she? Yes, she did. Bless her. So we've just come out of reception, paid for another night, yeah. and uh, Tom, I think he's the manager, is he? I don't know. He works, he works there anyway. Very nice lad. And uh, he's going to try and get some kind of donation. For our charity events? Yeah. Which so is we've a... asked for a weekend on a yes. free service pitch. Yes. So that would be good. That would be really yeah. good. We've uh, left him all the information that they need. Our email address. And the, how to get on to our last one that we did. And if he's lucky, when we leave, I might give him a sticker for a pound. Oh, what a beautiful place it is. It really is. Time for a cup of coffee, I think. Yes, I could drink a nice cup I've of coffee, you, my Mike. little angel. He never drank coffee and now he's... It, oh. That's very true, that is. You know, I never drank coffee until recently. And now I'm starting to enjoy it. it must be you my age. You just have one, one a day, don't you? Yeah, 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 nice. I think you should swap the, the gin for coffee. <laughs> Definitely not. And right behind us, you have a fishing lake. Called Jennifer's Pool. So if you're into fishing, I dare say, you can come here, get your rods out, catch some tea. Are you sure it's a fishing bargain. lake? Bargain. Huh? Are you sure it's a fishing yeah, lake? Yeah, there's a bloody bloke over there fishing. Oh, I is he fishing or sitting? I think he's just sitting. I think Robert was just getting excited. I was. I saw a bloke and I thought he was fishing, but we'll get you a bit closer anyway. So, so I was right, it is a fishing lake. Discover Park Jennifer's Pool. Fishing, please visit reception to obtain your pass before fishing. Deep there you water. Go. I just don't know why it's got this on. Oh, to stop anything jumping over to. I'll tell you why. Go on. Otters. Yeah, they do have otters here. They have otters here. So I, I presume that's to keep otters out. Keeps me out. I can't get over there. <sighs> Believable. Well, I'll just have to rescue the dog again. Look at her, bloody soaked. She fell down a ditch down there. Straight in. Rob to the rescue again. It's cooled her down. I'm now a van fixer, a dog rescuer, a cook, cook. a bottle washer. Cook, washer? Since when? Yeah, apparently there's lots of uh, forest walks and places you can walk. But the, the ground's so, still so yeah. muddy at the moment that I don't want to go and get my shoes dirty. 
Bloody hell. Yeah, we've just been talking to a lady about the uh, otters and apparently down by the uh, bridge they have been seen. Last year they were seen. So there you go. We'll show you the bridge tomorrow. <laughs> we must say this site isn't geared for children really. No, there's nothing really for children to do. There is a, no. an area there for them to play football on, but that's about all. Yeah, it is more so adults only. You can bring children here, nothing stops you bringing children here, but there's not a lot for them to do, to be honest. Well, there's nothing for them to do, is there? No. I'll just look at these trees. I think the gardener's gone mad on the pruning. They're growing back, though. Well, they've got some life in them, yeah, but... More life than you. Look at them. Yeah? Well, I wonder why they've done that. I don't know. Oh, well. You've got dog walking areas on site. Secure dog it, uh, walking areas. You know, so you can let them off, which is good. So, marks out of 10 for this beautiful site. Any time today, love? I think an eight. I was going to say an eight. Mm. The facility block is immaculate. Yes. But it is a bit dated. I mean, it's kept it's absolutely spotless. Yeah, but, but it, it, most sites of the site, the facility blocks are dated, aren't they? Yeah, I mean, they've got those horrible plastic curtains. Yes, which, which a lot of people don't like. No, because like I said, said before, you're going to show and they stick to you. You have to have them closed because otherwise everything gets soaking wet. Uh, situated, absolutely beautiful. Cannot recommend this place enough for the situation. Yeah. Uh, staff are lovely, extremely friendly. Yeah, it's always nice to uh, find a site where you can actually walk into somewhere, you know, and explore a bit instead of being just stuck on a site. Yeah, especially for us motorhomers. So, in that, in that, in that uh, the regards to that, we well, got, we'll show you on the next yeah. vlog how gorgeous this area is. Yeah, that's what gives this site a high score as well, the location. Yes. Because that's what it's all about, isn't it? And it isn't what we call this. Erisland. Er, Erisland. Erisland? Er, 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 no. Eris. We'll tell you on the next one. Yeah. Yeah, the uh, Tom, the bloke in the office, he told us how, how to pronounce it, but of course we forgot. Yeah, this has been an hour ago. Yeah, but I would definitely give it an 8 out of 10 as well. Definitely. And I would definitely come back to this site. Yes, we would. Because it's, it really is a nice site. If you want to, you can just chill out on site. Or you can have a nice stroll into the village, which is literally just down the road, which I'll show you on Thursday. Or you have got lots of nature walks around. Yeah. And as we said, they've got otters. Yeah. It's just a beautiful place. So, yeah, yeah, definitely recommend this place. Please come and try it and let us know what you think. Yes. Or if you have been, let us know what you think. Yes. So on that note, people, we will say our farewells. What are you laughing at? <laughs> just keeps looking at me and laughing. Oh, it's just one of those days. It's one of those days, folks. It's one of those days. <laughs> So on that note, people, we'll say our farewells. So stay safe in the caravan as motor motorhomes tend to drift from the skies. I knew we still love you. We do. Thanks so much for watching. We will see you on the next one. In a bit. <sighs> Got to get that in. Unbelievable.